It was really, really close. Kylian Mbappé to Real Madrid. But sometimes in football, until you sign the contracts, you can't feel safe. Hi Top 11, Fabrizio Romano here, back again to talk to you about the wild world of transfers. Here we go. The craziest transfer logistics story I can remember was uh, about Edinson Cavani joining Napoli. That was a crucial moment for Napoli. They were in Uruguay to close the negotiation, but they had to be really fast, otherwise other clubs were prepared to sign Cavani. And so Napoli decided to stop in the middle uh, of a crazy area in a hotel to use their fax to send the documents of the Edinson Cavani deal to Palermo and to sign the contracts during the night. That was a crazy moment because Napoli had no time to lose, but sometimes to be fast in the transfer market is absolutely crucial and it's not easy. You have to be ready. The transfer window for me is like madness every single day. I wake up and I start to send messages everywhere to call agents, presidents, directors, players. I start to call everyone because I want information. So the typical day is always with my phone and it's always going around trying to meet with people and get information. And crazy things can happen because many times happen to me that I receive news very late night. One time for the transfer of Sergio Reguillon to Tottenham, I still remember I was still awake. It was 4 a.m. in the morning and they called me and told me, okay, now it's finally done. They say, imagine if I was sleeping, I was not first on the news. So it's crucial to be always, always available. I think people don't understand many times about the transfer window that it's not easy to complete some transfers. You have to convince not just the player, but there is the agent, and sometimes in the agencies there are many people, then the family of the player, the wife of the player in some cases, and also the other club. So it's a very long process. Sometimes we see fans being impatient on the negotiations, but they have to understand that to complete that kind of transfer, there is the formal part, but also the part to convince people into the deal. And many people are involved. When a project is presented to a player, is especially about the manager, so what kind of tactical idea the manager has for the team, but also for the future of the club, so what they want to do in the future, what kind of position they predict for the club, if they will play Champions League football or not, what kind of impact the signing can have on the squad, but also the financial point of view, so how the contract will evolve in the future. It includes financial points, but especially technical and tactical points. Why a player should join a club is also about the environment, so it's about the city, it's about the country. These kind of things can make the difference. So it's never about one single year, but it's always about the long-term vision. The transfer that I was expecting to happen, and then it never did, was Kylian Mbappé to Real Madrid. That was really close, because Real Madrid wanted him in the summer, then they attacked the game situation in the following summer 2022. What happened is that Paris Saint-Germain offered crazy money to Kylian Mbappé, also to be crucial face and part of the project, and Mbappé decided to proceed with a yes to Paris Saint-Germain. But it was really close, Kylian Mbappé to Real Madrid. But sometimes, in football, until you sign the contracts, you can't feel safe. The transfer rumor mill ended. It's life. Take charge of your own football club in Top 11.